Hi, my beautiful brothers and sisters. This is part two of Trust No One But Our Father Jehovah. So I'm in 1 Timothy 3. Now it says, this is a true saying. If a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires to be a good work. A bishop then must blameless the husband of one wife, vigilantly sober of good behavior, given hospitality, a part to teach. Not given to wine, no stricker, no greedy, no filthy lures, but patient and not brawler, no covetous. One that ruleth will be his own house, having the children in subjection with all gravity. Sorry. And if a man, this is if a man does, if a man know not how to rule his own house, how does she take care of the church of God? Not in ovens, but at least being lifted up with pride to be fallen to condemnation of the devil. Moreover, that he must have a good report of them which are without, at least he fall into the reproach of the snares of the devil. Likewise, must the deacons be grave, not double tongued, not given too much wine, and not greedy, no filth lures, holding the mystery of the faith and pure co science. At least that there also be first proved, but at least of them that use the office and deacons being found blameless. But even so must be the wives of the grave, not slander, slobbers, sober, faithful in all things. Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife, ruler of the children. And this is like deacons, bishops, you know, all applies the same rules. You know, how are you going to take care of the church of God if you can? Remember the letters went out to seven churches to the daughters and what you have to fix. Now, and also this is also in the Bible that tells them that you can be, you're in the world, but not of the world. You can't do that and represent the kingdom of heaven of the king of our father if you're sitting there living like the way of the devil that does, you know. He throws temptation. He throws lust. He still kills and destroys. That's not what my father is about. Our father, Jehovah. Now, for they use the office of Dean Conwell purchased to themselves of a good degree, great boldness in faith, which is in Christ Jesus. This things write I unto you, the and hoping to come to thee shortly. But if I tarry long, that you mayest know that thou oughtest behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the ground of the truth. Without controversy, the great and the mystery of God lines of God is to manifest the flesh and justify the spirit seen of angels. Preach unto Gentiles, believe of the world, receive unto the glory. 1 Timothy 4. Now the Spirit speaketh expressively of the latter times, and they shall depart from the faith, but given heed into seducing spirits and their canes of the devil. Because then you start preaching what the, the world says, which is hell, you know, the devil's way. Or you preach the truth, what the really Bible says, because they're being deceived by the enemy, and they're falling right into the snares of the devil. Speaking lies and hypo hypocrisy, having their cold science and sear of hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, meaning they still want to be out there in whoredom, the man, which God had created to receive him with thanksgiving with them that are believing in the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused to be received by with thanksgiving. For they were sanctified by the word of God in the prayer, but if thou put brethren in the remembrance of the things that they should be good minister of Jesus Christ, nourish upon the words and faith of good decaying. Faith is as where unto that thou hast attained, but refuse to profane the old wise fabables, exercise thyself rather unto ungodlines, because they didn't want to do with the covet with their wives, with the first wives that they had. They wanted to go with the harlots. And that means any harness. It wasn't just them that they wanted to go with the lust of the eye, the flesh, and sleep around and do whatever. And this is in the Bible. For bodily exercise profited little. The God lines profited unto all things that promise of the life. And now is that in which is to come. That it is faithful saying and worthy of all aspiration. Therein that we both labor and suffer and reproach because we trust the living men especially with those that believe. These things command the teach. Let no man despise the youth, but though has an example, the believers in the word in conversation. 
in the charity, in the spirit, in faith, and in purity. It says, until I come and give the attendance to the reading of the escortation of the Durkanes, neglect not the gift that is in thee, but which was given to thee by prophecy, with the line of on the hands and the prosperity. Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly unto them, and profit at them in that I appear to all. Take heed unto thyself, for the Durkane continue in them. For doing so, those shall be both save themselves unto them, and hear thee. 1 Timothy 5. Rebuke not the elder, but entreat him and the father and the youngest man as the brethren, the elder woman as the mothers, the younger as the sisters in all impurity. Honor widows that are widows indeed, but any widows that they have children of nephews. But let him first to show pity at home to requite their parents, but it is good acceptable before God. Now that she is a widow and did and disolate trusted in God, that continue in supplications and prayers night and day, that she lived in pleasure that is dead while she lived. And these things give in charge that they must be blameless, but if they provide not their own, his own, especially for those in his own house that he had denied in faith and it says, and it is worse than infidel. Let not the widow be taken into the number under threescore years old, having the wife of one man, while reported for good works, that she had brought up the children, and she gave lodge to strangers, that she had washed the saints' feet, and she gave the relief of afflicted, that she has diligently followed every good work. But the younger widows refuse, for when they have began to wax wanton against Christ, they will marry, having damnation because they cast off their first faith. With all they learn to be idols and wandering about the house to house, not only the idol but the tattlers also of the busybody, speaking things which they ought to not. I will therefore be the younger woman, marry, bear children, guide the house, guide none occasions of the adversary to speak re re repro reproach. Now, what does that mean? You know, and this is like him giving it, that the younger crowd was, of course, going to the ways the way the men were, and they were bouncing from house to house, and he's telling the daughters, you tell the ones that weren't living that way, and then you got the ones that didn't care. This applies to the women and to the men, you know, but this is to say that we're the queens in our kinship, and it's in the Bible, but he also has a high priest, which is our husband, but they needed to live the way they did if they wanted to. Our gifts got, we lost the light, the gifts, because when we were sinning and we had to cleanse ourselves and wash us. And as you continue that, the gift that he put in you will start working again. You'll start having visions, dream dreams, healing the sick, the lame, the poor, and the brokenhearted. For some already turn aside after Satan. If any man or woman that believe that they have widows, let them relieve them. Let not the church be charged for the relief them that are widows indeed. Let the elders that rule well count them worthy